All right, simple question. Next season, do you want Deshaun Jackson on this team? If you're a Bucks fan, do you want Deshaun Jackson on this team? Let's go. It is Drew. Tampa 2, Drew. And I, I, that's, that's really my question to you. Now, me personally, I don't want Deshaun Jackson on this team anymore, right? I don't. But the reasons why I don't want him on this team anymore may be a little bit different than what you would think, especially with recent events. This whole TMZ thing came out, you know, where they a reporter asked him, you know, real quick, you know, have you spoken with Bruce Arians or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers about, you know, possibly being recruited, yada, yada, yada. And me personally, that's not even why I don't want him on the team. Now, yeah, it reiterates the fact that I don't want him on this team anymore. But that's not why. And I'll tell you why I don't want Deshaun Jackson on this team anymore. And that's Chris Mother Effin Godwin. That's why. I'm a huge Chris Godwin fan. Like, I love Chris Godwin. And I think that this guy, I think he could easily be a number one wide receiver in this league. Like, I think he's that good. And I'm a I'm just a big fan. Like, I love him. I love his work ethic. You throw him the ball, he catches it. He's an unbelievable route runner. He's just He's everything you want in a wide receiver. Like, he really is. And him and Mike Evans together, it's just unbelievable. Deshaun Jackson goes away, frees up a little bit more money, which we could use right now. You have a better chance of keeping Adam Humphreys. I'm a big Adam Humphreys fan as well. But Adam Humphreys isn't maybe as big of a deal to me as, as he is to others. But I do love Adam Humphreys. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like he hasn't been utilized to the best of his capabilities. I really don't. I, I think when I watched him in that offense under Dirk Cutter, you know, I think, I, I just don't think that they used him as well as they could have. If you had put him on a team like the Patriots, um, and I know that's probably going to be a little cliche and you're going to be like, well, duh, um, because they tend to use those undersized white wide receivers uh, just to be blunt and not politically correct here, uh, they use them very well. Um, but I just don't feel like he was used very well in Dirk Cutter's offense. That's just my opinion. And he still did great things. So, and it's funny, I just literally had a pop-up come down on my phone from NFL, uh, the NFL app about Deshaun Jackson. I couldn't read it fast enough, though. But um, nevertheless, uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm... I would rather see Chris Godwin on the field than Deshaun Jackson. That's just my personal opinion. Um, and that's beyond the relationship that has obviously got issues between him and uh, Jameis Winston. And if you're anti-Jameis, then maybe you think a little bit differently because you feel like, you know, he's going to have a better chance. But but aside from the first two games with uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, even in the other games that Ryan Fitzpatrick did play, it wasn't like he was getting Deshaun Jackson the ball. I felt like, I felt like that was kind of, uh, it was just, it was a fluke. It just worked out. The offensive line was balling out of control, right? Everything, the the stars aligned, and he was able to get those uh, those plays off in the first couple of games, and then the rest of the season it just it went back to how it was, and. And obviously, in those first couple of games, he was super excited because he was getting the ball and his numbers were going up and he was looking great again. And and that's what Deshaun Jackson wants. Do I blame him for that? I don't. That's why I'm not coming on here bashing Deshaun Jackson. I don't have an issue with Deshaun Jackson. Some people do. Now, yes, it does trigger me a little bit. I'm a Bucks fan. But I don't really have a problem with the dude. Like, you want to catch balls? You want to ball out? Like, hey, that's great. I'm happy for you. But... um, but just as as a Bucks fan and what I want to see on this team, I love Chris Godwin. I think that's where we need to put our focus, and I think he's legit. So as far as I'm concerned, part ways with Deshaun Jackson now, all right? Um, I'm going to make a couple more videos uh, because I want to talk some Gerald McCoy, and uh, there's that other guy, that tight end. Um, my mind just went blank here. I can't believe I just went blank on this, but um, but I want to talk about him a little bit too, because uh, there's some rumors about him possibly getting traded. But um, wow, people really don't know how to drive. 
But anyways, um, so I'll follow up with a couple more videos today. But uh, I'm going to keep grinding. I'll keep moving forward. I'll always trust the process. But let me know what you think about uh, Deshaun Jackson. Do you love him? Do you want him? Do you want him gone? I'm out.